and welcome back to the Fenrir Rescue Diaries guys and it's been a little while since we've been able to do a Rescue Diaries we went back into a severe lockdown so we've not been able to come but I'm back at one of the shelters that I volunteer at and I volunteer my kind of behaviour services and we have got an awesome case to show with you today and hopefully be able to find him a perfect forever home. We've got an eight year old male beautiful German Shepherd called Zach, haven't we boy? Yes, and he is an absolute stunning dog. Really sad case, he's a working line German Shepherd who has done incredible amounts of search work, tracking work. I think he's probably done a bit of bite work, but unfortunately his owner was an older man and his owner just had a sudden death. Um, when they found the owner, obviously the dog was still there and unfortunately he's just been passed from shelter to shelter for months now and he's barely had any exercise and he's definitely not been worked for months. So when we came back, obviously it was 100% uh, the first dog I was getting out. So we're going to do a little bit of work with him today. What's awesome about Zach though is that when he came, he came with all of his papers. So he's an incredibly bred German Shepherd. Just by looking at him, you'll see he is glorious. One of the most beautiful German Shepherds I've ever seen. He's got all his hip scores, all his x-rays, all his pedigree information, which is really rare for a working dog. And also they found the paperwork that the gentleman that owned him before he passed away had written all about him. All of his searching commands, all of his tracking commands, all of that stuff's in there. And um, we're just going to have some fun today. Like I say, he hasn't been worked for a long time now. Months and months at the least, potentially going into years since he's really had a good bit of work and a good bit of exercise. So like I say, he's just been passed around. People look at him, he looks like a wolf. Um, and because he's got kind of those serious working kind of drives he's not the best suited for kind of a pet german shepherd so what i want to do is i want to give you a bit of a demonstration of some of his stuff why i do a bit of a temperament assessment of him see what kind of we're dealing with here is there any resource guarding any aggression that we need to worry about and hopefully as we're doing that one of you guys at home are going to go that is the dog for me and yes he's eight years old but i'm hoping with how healthy he is and how well bred he is that we're going to be able to get another good five six seven years out of him so somebody that will be able to give him an awesome life for those last few years of his life be able to work him be able to harness that drive and just give him what he needs because he, he's awesome and i'm just desperate to help find him a forever home because if he doesn't he, he's going to find himself on the euthanasia table and let's uh, let's stop that from happening as a community so literally all i know is that he's been trained with his uh, rubber chew toy here and a handler stick. We haven't got a handler stick. I only found that out this morning when we got here. Um, but again, anybody that's used to work in German Shepherds will be more than comfortable with harnessing this. I've got him on a slip lead just to give myself a little bit of extra control. Um, and all I'm going to do is I've got another chew toy. Now, this is the one that came with him. It's the only thing he's kind of got and has been with him. So I'm going to try and harness this if we can. And like I say, let's just have a little bit of fun with him, see what he knows. I'm not expecting insane levels because obviously he hasn't been worked for so long and I've never worked him. But I just want to let him have some fun blow off some energy and, and hopefully test his temperament as we're going so let's just see kind of how responsive he is Zach let's go yes yeah, so straight away we can see laser focus on his toy yes good yes again all this jumping up stuff I imagine anybody that kind of is used to working German Shepherds yes so he's being very polite he's not trying to take it off me he's offering me a lovely sit let's see if he's got a heel Oh, yes. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Heel. Sit. Good. Yes. Stay. Good stay. Good stay, Zach. Yes. Heel. Oh, yes. Sit. Oh, good boy. Heel. So you can see the whine and the jumping. He's excited. This is the first time someone's worked him in potentially years. So all of it, you're not going to see me correct him whatsoever today, not in a million years. Whoever might want to give him a home and might want to really work him, you can get him back to full performance. But let's just make it fun for him. Zach, let's go. Sit. You found a ball. Well, that's my fault, isn't it? Zach, this will be interesting, actually. Let's see if he lets me take the ball. Good. Right there, that was beautiful. The fact that he let me take that ball off him was lovely. That is a huge win, something I wanted to test, that I thought I'd test with this. He's jumping all up the cameraman just because he's so excited. I want to let him have a chase of his tug. So, Zach, sit. Yes, stay. Yes, heel. Yes, good boy. And we'll let him have a chew and have a chase 
and I'm going to let him have a bit of a run now, burn off some of that energy. Oh, I love it. Eight years old, prime still, athletic, glorious, wolf-like looking dog. Um, happy I'm going to test it with this. He let me take the ball off him. This is his thing very much though, that ball he'd never had before. That's why I've put him on a long line, because I want a little bit of control should this get a little bit feisty with any resource guarding type behaviours. Um, and there's so many distractions going on. So first of all, we'll see if we can get a recall from him. Now he has his toy. Zach, let's go. Come. Yes. So a little bit of disengagement. Using my long line. Good. Yes. I want him to take the toy because I want to take this off him. Zach. Yes, good, beautiful. So straight away, that's superb. Would he do that with food? It's something we'll have to test. But again, somebody, is, is Zach a good dog to be a pet German Shepherd? I don't think so. When the guys that have been working with him have said that there have been some times where he can be a little bit grumbly. Again, he's a working protection German Shepherd that has been trained to do so. People that aren't used to that, that could be terrifying. Somebody like myself that's got experience with those breeds, especially if you've got experience with working line German Shepherds, you'll harness this beautifully. <whistles> Zach. Yes, yes. Good, beautiful. So again, testing, will he follow a law? And absolutely he will. I imagine you could get some insane levels, especially if he's done search and tracking. I bet he'll clear six foot fences if you need him to. But he's just so eager to work. Again, I want to see if we can get a nice recall. Zach, come. Yes, good. Yes, good. Yes, happy to let me take the dummy off him. For me, from a temperament perspective, that is absolutely perfect and absolutely what I want to look for. If he was my dog, I'd be tuning this up beautiful. Let's see if we knows any other kind of commands. Zach, sit. Away. Beautiful. Good. Come. Yes. Sit. Away. Yes. Come. Yes. Sit. Good. Heel. Yes. Sit. Yes. Heel. Uh -uh. Let's help him out with a bit of heel with some lead pressure. Heel. Yes. So this definitely needs some work. Yes. Sit. Down. Down. Yes. Sit. Down. Sit. Down. Yes. Sit. Good boy. Yes. If you're in the market for a German Shepherd that is beautifully bred, incredible hip scores, beautiful pedigree, that is an absolute stunner to look at, aren't you big boy? Zach. Yes. Oh, good boy. Yes. Good. Heel. Oh, good boy. Sit. Good. Stay. Again, this laser intensity is so fun to work with. Is it applicable for everybody? No, it's not. But if you're in the market and have experience with large, powerful guardian breeds, Zach is your man. I can promise you that. And you've got my seal of approval, big boy. Just look, he's stunning. I'm six foot three, 300 pounds, and look how he's holding himself next to me. He is a big, intimidating, strong boy that needs a strong, assertive leader. But if you can be that for him and you've got experience with dogs and you want to work a dog and give him a good five, six years, whatever he's got left in his tank, there could be no better dog. Absolutely no better dog. Isn't that right, Zach? Good, yes and give him that freedom. Good boy, yes. Good, good. So in terms of behavior modification, there's not really anything. My only concern with Zach, because I know his obedience is, uh, is gonna have been so impeccable, was resource guarding. He's demonstrated that resource guarding isn't a thing. Could resource guarding become a thing? Absolutely, with, an, uh, with a, a work in line male, unneutered German Shepherd whether they'll need to neuter him before he goes to a home that's not that you'll have to talk about that with the guys that run the shelter but yes absolutely that could slide and go downhill 
but if it's somebody that knows how to be an assertive leader, I think he's perfect. So all I want to do for this session, I've got another 20 minutes with him. I just want to work him, have some fun, and just give him some exercise out in the fresh air. It's not a huge amount of space that we have to work here, but it's enough to kind of give him a lot more than that kind of kennel he's been in for the last couple of months so yes absolutely we're gonna have some fun if you're interested in more information about giving um, Zach a home I'll put the number up on screen now it's a UK based number so um, I very much doubt you could get him exported to different countries but if you're in the UK and you're really interested in Zach I'll leave the shelter's number on screen as well as down in the description box below as you can tell I'm really passionate about this case he's awesome um, I want to give him some fun now um, and I really really want to help him find a forever home because he's been a beautiful dog for that gentleman that unfortunately passed away and he's just desperate for somebody that he can give his all to like he did with that boy isn't that right Zach isn't that right yes Sid you just want to work down down yes sit yes good boy oh yes oh good boy so i hope you enjoyed this very quick episode of the rescue diaries we're going to be working with tons more dogs here now we can come back and um, help tune them up do some behavior modification do some temperament assessing do some obedience work all the kind of stuff that we do when we come and volunteer here but most importantly as is always the case is to stop those dogs from ending up on the euthanasia table and finding them the forever home that they deserve absolutely like my big boy zach does isn't that right yes good boy good boy <laughs>